Hi everyone, this is EC 109, Introduction to Electric Engineering, lecture note number 4. In this section, we're gonna cover serial resistors, parallel resistors, serial and parallel together combination, uh, voltage division and current divisions. First, serial resistors. Um, if the resistors are connected each other serially, uh, the equivalent resistance value will be sum of individual resistance. So equation can be given as R equal will be equal R1 plus R2 plus dot 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 plus Rn. So sum of R. In this example here we have uh, R1, R2, R3 and R4 connected each other serially. So we can find R equal as 1k plus 2.2k plus 4k plus uh, 0.5k uh, together. Make sure you can uh, pay attention to uh, the values. Some of them are k, some of them is oh, the ohm. So total will be 7.7 .7 kilo ohms. Uh, how about the, uh, the resistors are connected parallel? In this case, one over R equal value will be equal 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus that, that plus 1 over Rn in this uh, general case given to here as like this here. If only two parallel resistors connect each other, in that case we can give you equation as 1 over R, R equal will be equal 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. That will be equal actually here as you say see here if you combine uh, the denominators R equal will be equal R1 times R2 divided by R1 plus R2 easily given to you uh, if more than two resistor parallel I think better to use this equation here as a R equal which is 1 over parenthesis 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus that, that, that plus 1 over Rn shape. Here give a simple example two resistor R1 and R2 para connected parallel. So in this case if we're gonna find the R equal will be e equal 1k times 4k divided by parenthesis 1 plus 4k parenthesis right there. So it's give you 8 hundred ohms. If you pay attention when the resistors are parallel the R equal value will be less than any of the parallel resistor in that connection. Um, I'm gonna uh, before going to combination I'm gonna look at the other way here parallel resistor too also. Uh, we can use the conductance rather than resistor to find equivalent con uh, to find the parallel resistor value or in this case equivalent resistance value so the conductance is basically one over resistance value so if we write every element every resistor is a one over r form conductance form so the uh, the equivalent conductance will be equal sum of the all individual conductance that's why we have here g1 plus g2 plus that, that, that gn give you equivalent resistance value uh, in that case um, we can see here two resistors r1 and r2 connect parallel so we can find conductance value g1 1 over 1k we can find G to 1 over 4K. We can add them together. Then we can take the 1 over of conductance value to find resistance value, parallel resistance value, parallel equivalent resistance value. That's another way to look at the equation. Um, I'll give an example about the combination. So if some circuit has serial and parallel resistors. In this circuit, uh, circuit, we're gonna find the R equal 
when you look at from this side here we're gonna find the r equal here first we're gonna look at from the left uh, right to left here if you look at here these two resistors are serial so 4k plus 6k give you 10k so when you combine them if you don't see the overall picture we can redraw the circuit s one more time r1 r2 and r3 then combination of r3 and r4 r5 here combination of r3 and r5 will be 10k right there in this case these two resistors are parallel so 6k 10k if two of them we're gonna say 6k times 10k divided by 6k plus 10k in this case we have the equivalent of those two parallel will be 3.75 kilo ohms after this one they we're gonna have only three resistor left basically so this is here 2k this is here 3.75k this is here 3k in this case when you look at from here r equal 2k plus 3.75k plus 3k that will be equal 8.75 kilo ohms give you equivalent to now we're gonna cover maybe more example in the class just give you an idea here so let's look at the voltage division when we have <coughs> voltage division case here when we have the circuit if they are serially connected such as in shown in this one here that means we have only one current goes right there okay so if you want to find the v1 v1 will be equal i times v1 it's given right there it's going to plus that's why plus two also v2 is going will be equal voltage 2 over the resistor 2 will be equal v2 times i okay v3 again positive here will be v3 times v3 will be equal i times r3 okay so if we apply kbl for this loop minus v plus v1 plus v2 plus v3 will be equal zero so if we know the v i'll put the v the other side so v1 plus v2 plus v3 will be equal v right there uh, we can apply uh, previous ohm laws equation for each this equation to right there v1 will be i times r1 that's why we put the i is outside of partners you're gonna have r1 plus r2 plus r3 so i will be here v over r1 plus r2 plus r3 or you can say i equal v over r equal value in this case i said r a b here because of the resistor here connected serially so r a b will be equal r1 plus r2 plus r3 after finding the i from here we can find v1 v2 v3 applying the previous equation is given right here because we know the i so we know the r1 so we can find v1 same thing v2 and v3 um, by the way let me go back one more time here the interesting here actually you can see here if you're gonna find the r v1 v1 equation will be equal r1 divided by r equal value times v this is the voltage division we call it basically so you can see division how much here if you pay attention v2 is r2 over r equal times v v3 will be equal r3 divided by the r equal times v here okay let's look at the current division in this case we're going to use again ohm laws and kcl and this is common note so we're going to apply the note a here kcl so i is going plus 
I1 is going out, I2 going negative, I put them on the other side as positive right there, the other side of equal sign. So, uh, I look at the I, not the I actually, I'll, I'm going to look at the here V first, applying uh, voltage or ohm loss. V will be equal I1 times R1. Same time, V equal also I2 times R2. Same thing, 2 also. But let's get the I1 in this case. The I1 will be equal V over R2, R1. And I2 will be equal V over R2 right there. If we applying this 2 equation in the previous KCL, not the equation, we will have I will be equal V over R1 plus V over R2. Combine them together here. Okay, we can see here this is the parallel to resistor here. Okay, that's why in this case here, if you make the denominators are equal here, so I will be equal V over R equivalent of two parallel resistor. Um, then if you're gonna find the V here we can divide by, actually we can see I times R equal, right there too also. Okay, um, so this is the combination of uh, actual resistor value, right, R equal, you can see here. Now we're gonna find the I1 here. I1 is equal V over R1, and V is given this equation here, then times uh, 1 over R1 here. If you simplify this one, you will see I1 will be equal R2. So I1 here will be equal R2 divided by R1 plus R2 times I. Similar way, I2, which is this current right there, this current right there, will be equal R1, the other side, of the resistor divided by R1 plus R2 times I. Okay? We're going to give uh, one example how we can use them actually here. Um, I will, we're going to give more example in the class, but let's look at this example here, simple example here. Um, looks like circuit is, uh, there are some serial, there are some parallel resistor, and one source here. So we need to find V1, which is right here, then V2, which is right there, and we need to find this, uh, what is it, I1, I2, I see I1 right there, I see I2 right there. First of all, when you look at the circuit here, interesting here, these two resistors parallel, we can find the combination of that one, equivalent one. These two resistors are parallel. We can find equivalent that one too also. That's why I show here 6 ohms parallel to 12, which give you 4 ohms. The other one is 10 ohms parallel to 40, which give you 8 ohms. So after this one, when you combination, when you put them together, you're going to have, looks like, one resistor right there, one resistor right there. So here, in this case, we can apply a voltage division easily here. Or you can find I first, then we'll find V1 and V2. If you find I, I will be equal 30 divided by R1 plus R2, or 4 ohms plus 8 ohms. That's why 12, right? You can find I. After we find I, I times 4 ohms give you V1. I times 8 ohms give you V2. But when you come here, if you say, I want to find voltage division here, if you say V1 equal 4 divided by 4 plus 8 times uh, 30, give the same uh, a value 10, 10 volts too also. For V2, we can write like this, 8 divided by 4 plus 8 times 30. Again, this gives you 10 volts, and this will give you 20 volts, you can see here too also. After finding the voltage current, then if asking to find the power dissipated on the each resistor, 
we can find two also and this question is 12 ohms I look at the 12 ohms right there okay um, I know the I1 I know the uh, ohms I know the V1 I can find two also that's why P1 will be I1 V1 the other one is here fifth for the ohms for the ohms I know the I2 so V times I or P2 equal V I2 V2 give you how much you have it the other way you know the current you know the resistance value you can find two I know we can write the P2 as like this too also I guess you can write the V2 squared divided by R2 also R which is for the, what is it for the right there in this case okay there are multiple ways to solve the questions there is not only one way to solving so you have to think about first which way is easy then focus on that um, approach okay uh, I'll talk about spinning class a little bit more and we're gonna do some examples